The countdown clock showed T minus 40 seconds when everything ground to a halt. SpaceX's Starship Flight 8 mission, featuring Starship 34 and Super Heavy Booster 15, has faced a dramatic series of obstacles that would have stopped most aerospace companies in their tracks. What began as a routine launch attempt on March 3rd quickly transformed into an engineering thriller with multiple plot twists. First came the unexpected pressure anomaly, a critical 20-bar deficiency in the ground spin start system that forced controllers to abort with just seconds remaining. As the mission control voice echoed over the comms, holding for a late-breaking issue with ship, engineers knew this wasn't a simple fix, but that was just the beginning. During restacking efforts, disaster struck again. An alignment plate on the hot stage ring clamp fractured and broke away. As if that wasn't enough, the massive chopstick mechanism that cradles the 400-foot rocket suffered a derailed skate on its carriage system. For most launch providers, these cascading failures would mean weeks of delays. But SpaceX isn't most companies. Their teams have worked around the clock, executing repairs at breakneck speed that showcases why they remain the most agile aerospace company on the planet. With all issues now resolved, Flight 8 stands ready for another launch attempt on March 6th. This mission aims to push boundaries with ambitious objectives, including Raptor engine relights, dummy Starlink deployments, and the first ever booster catch attempt. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 hours, your front row seat to SpaceX's engineering triumphs and challenges. Let's dive right in. Behind the scenes, understanding the Flight 8 abort sequence. When SpaceX initiated propellant loading on March 3rd, Starship Flight 8 seemed on track for a routine countdown. The massive 400-foot rocket stood gleaming in the Texas sun, loaded with liquid methane and oxygen. But the rocket's telemetry told a different story. Engineers monitoring the data feeds noticed something unusual, irregularities in the booster propellant delivery system. SpaceX teams immediately jumped into action, working to adjust flow rates and pressure parameters as the countdown continued. For several tense minutes, it appeared they might salvage the launch window. Then came the critical moment. At T minus 40 seconds, controllers detected a 20 bar deficiency in the ground spin start pressure system, a showstopper issue that couldn't be resolved while the countdown was active. This wasn't a minor glitch. It was a fundamental problem that could prevent the Raptor engines from igniting reliably. This pressure deficiency is particularly concerning, explained a SpaceX engineer who requested anonymity. The spin start system provides the initial momentum to get the turbo pumps rotating fast enough to begin drawing and propellant. Without sufficient pressure, we risk an incomplete engine start sequence or potentially damaging engine components. The problem forced SpaceX to fully destack the vehicle, separating Ship 34 from Booster 15 to access and inspect the complex plumbing systems that deliver high pressure gases to the engine systems. Engineers conducted a thorough examination of the propellant lines, pressure regulation systems, and ground support equipment. The engineering marathon, fixing multiple critical systems. What they discovered required extensive troubleshooting. Teams identified several potential contributors to the pressure anomaly. Microscopic contamination in helium supply lines, thermal contraction effects from the cryogenic temperatures, and discrepancies in pressure sensor readings. Working through the night, technicians methodically addressed each issue, replacing sections of plumbing, recalibrating sensors, and purging the system to ensure pristine conditions. With the pressure system repaired, SpaceX began preparing for a second launch attempt on March 6. This is where the real drama unfolded. As mechanical systems engaged to restack Ship 34 onto Booster 15, cameras captured a heart-stopping moment, a metallic fragment detaching from the hot stage ring clamp system. This critical component, responsible for securing the two massive rocket stages together and facilitating their separation during flight, had experienced a partial failure. The broken piece was later identified as an alignment plate, a guide designed to help position the ship correctly over the clamps during the stacking process. While not a structural element itself, its failure signaled potential issues with the entire clamping mechanism. The hot stage ring is essentially the interface between ship and booster, noted a propulsion expert familiar with Starship's design. Any compromise to its integrity could lead to separation issues during flight, 
potentially causing catastrophic failure. SpaceX engineers once again initiated a full D-stack to inspect the damage. Technicians in harnesses climbed the towering launch structure, carefully examining every millimeter of the hot stage ring and its clamp mechanisms. They discovered that while the alignment plate had fractured, the actual clamping mechanisms remained structurally sound, but the mechanical challenges weren't finished. During inspection, the team identified another critical issue. One of the skates on the chopstick arm carriage system had derailed. This sophisticated mechanism, designed to catch the returning booster during Flight 8, requires precise alignment to function properly. The derailment likely occurred during the initial stacking operation when unexpected resistance caused the carriage to shift slightly out of its track. This misalignment would make it impossible to properly secure the rocket for launch, let alone attempt the planned booster catch. SpaceX's Rapid Response Engineering What happened next demonstrated why SpaceX remains unmatched in aerospace problem solving. Rather than following conventional aerospace timelines that might require weeks to resolve such issues, teams mobilized immediately. Engineers created a temporary workspace on the launch tower itself, bringing specialized tools and replacement components up to the damaged systems. Working in shifts through changing weather conditions, they systematically addressed each failure point. The broken alignment plate was completely removed and replaced with a newly fabricated component, machined overnight at SpaceX's on-site facility. The entire hot stage ring system underwent comprehensive stress testing to confirm its structural integrity remained uncompromised. The derailed chopstick skate required the most complex repair. Teams carefully jacked the massive carriage system just enough to realign the derailed component without causing further damage, then reinforced the track system to prevent future derailments. After repairs, engineers implemented a modified stacking procedure with reduced vertical approach speeds and enhanced alignment monitoring to prevent future contact damage. This repair marathon continued for nearly 48 hours straight, with teams working in rotating shifts to maintain progress. By early morning on March 6th, all systems had been repaired, tested, and certified ready for the next attempt. Flight 8's critical mission objectives. What makes these heroic repair efforts so significant is the ambitious nature of Flight 8 itself. This isn't just another test flight. It represents several major evolutionary steps for the Starship program. First, Flight 8 will test Starship's ability to relight its Raptor engines in space, a critical capability needed for orbital maneuvering and eventual lunar and Mars missions. Engineers have implemented several modifications to the propellant management system to ensure reliable ignition in vacuum conditions. Second, the mission includes the first deployment test of dummy Starlink satellites. While not functional, these mass simulators will validate the deployment mechanism that will eventually launch hundreds of next-generation Starlink satellites per mission, dramatically reducing launch costs for SpaceX's satellite internet constellation. Third, and perhaps most impressively, Flight 8 aims to test a revolutionary new heat shield design. The updated thermal protection system incorporates improved tile attachment methods and enhanced high-temperature materials capable of withstanding the extreme temperatures of re-entry. But the most ambitious goal is the planned booster catch attempt. Unlike traditional rocket recovery methods, SpaceX aims to literally catch Super Heavy Booster 15 using the same mechanical arms, nicknamed chopsticks, that help to stack it. This unprecedented maneuver would eliminate the need for heavy landing legs, maximizing payload capacity. The booster catch mechanism represents the ultimate in rocket reusability, explained a rocket propulsion engineer familiar with the system. If successful, it would allow much faster turnaround times between flights and potentially enable multiple flights per day from a single launch site. The Block 2 Starship Design Evolution Flight 8 also showcases significant architectural improvements to both ship and booster. The Block 2 design incorporates lessons learned from previous flights with particular emphasis on structural reinforcement in critical areas that experience stress during Flight 7. Engineers have redesigned the thrust puck, the structure that transfers engine thrust to the vehicle, with improved load distribution and enhanced cooling channels. The propellant tank domes feature optimized geometries that reduce mass while increasing strength. 
Even the outer shell has been reinforced at key stress points, identified through detailed analysis of previous flights. The Raptor engines themselves have evolved, with improved combustion stability and enhanced thermal management systems. These V2.1 Raptors incorporate modified turbopump designs that increase reliability during the critical startup sequence, directly addressing the pressure anomaly that caused the initial launch abort. Perhaps most significant are the updates to the flight control systems. Flight 8 features enhanced software algorithms that provide more precise control authority during all flight phases. These improvements are particularly important for the booster catch attempt, which requires positioning accuracy measured in centimeters despite the massive scale of the vehicle. The navigation package has also received significant upgrades with redundant inertial measurement units and enhanced GPS integration. These systems work together to provide the precision trajectory control needed for both stage separation and the ambitious booster recovery maneuver. What's at stake with Flight 8? The technical challenges faced by Flight 8 highlight the extraordinary complexity of SpaceX's Starship program. Unlike conventional rocket development, which typically proceeds through cautious, incremental steps, SpaceX continues to pursue rapid iteration with ambitious test objectives. This approach isn't without critics. Some aerospace veterans have questioned the wisdom of attempting so many firsts in a single mission. Traditional rocket development would separate these objectives across multiple flights, reducing risk but extending development timelines. But SpaceX's methodology has consistently delivered results that conventional approaches couldn't match. By accepting higher risk on individual test flights, the company accelerates its learning curve exponentially, gathering more data and experience with each attempt regardless of outcome. The pressure deficiency, broken alignment plate, and chopstick carriage malfunction that threaten Flight 8 exemplify both the challenges and advantages of this approach. Each problem revealed design weaknesses that might have remained hidden under a more conservative testing program, and each repair demonstrated SpaceX's unmatched ability to rapidly diagnose and resolve complex engineering challenges. As we await the next launch attempt, Flight 8 stands as a testament to SpaceX's engineering philosophy. Push boundaries, fail fast, learn quickly, and never stop innovating. Whether it succeeds in all its ambitious objectives or provides new lessons through partial success, this mission represents another critical step toward making humanity a multiplanetary species. As we await the results of Flight 8, one thing becomes abundantly clear. What we're witnessing isn't just routine aerospace development. It's a fundamental transformation in how humanity approaches space exploration. The technical obstacles faced by this mission perfectly illustrate why space remains the ultimate frontier. Yet SpaceX's rapid response demonstrates that with enough ingenuity and determination, even the most daunting challenges can be overcome. Speaking of remarkable achievements, the recent success of Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost lunar landing deserves special recognition. On March 2nd, Blue Ghost became the first fully successful commercial lunar mission in history, touching down on the moon's Merriam basaltic plane with all systems operational. This milestone, combined with SpaceX's ongoing Starship development, signals we're entering a new golden age of lunar exploration and potential colonization. The obstacles faced by Starship Flight 8 aren't setbacks. They're essential steps in the most ambitious engineering project of our generation. Every pressure anomaly solved, every broken component repaired, brings us closer to Mars, lunar bases, and beyond. If you found this analysis valuable, hit the like button. It helps the algorithm bring this content to others interested in SpaceX's journey. Leave a comment with your predictions for Flight 8's outcome or questions about the technical details we've discussed. And for continuous coverage of all things SpaceX, Starship, and Elon Musk ventures, subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and enable notifications. Thanks for joining this deep dive into Flight 8's challenges. Together, we're witnessing history in the making, one rocket launch, one engineering triumph at a time.